Hey guys, welcome to Selenium CH tutorial with AnyUnit session 1. In today's session, you can learn about Selenium, CH and Visual Studio. Then you can learn what are the prerequisites required to install Visual Studio 2022 as well as all the step-by-step -step process to install Visual Studio 2022. Then introduction to AnyUnit and how you can create a new any unit test project in Visual Studio 2022, important any unit attributes, how to run any unit test using Test Explorer from Visual Studio, how to integrate any unit test with Selenium web driver. There are so many automation testing tools available nowadays. Few are open source or free or few are licensed tool. Selenium is one of the powerful open source or free tools primarily used for web-based automation testing which supports multiple browser and multiple operating system. Selenium can be used to automate functional regression MOOC or sanity to, to, uh, test suit. It can be used to automate build deployment, end-to-end -end lifecycle validation testing and test data creation part as well. Scripting can be done in most of the widely used programming language like Java, C, Hash, Ruby, Perl, PHP and Python using Selenium web driver. Automation using Selenium can be done in many operating system like Windows, Mac or Linux based system. It supports most of the popular browser like Chrome, Firefox, Opera and Safari. Selenium uses less hardware resource comparative to other automation testing tool. That is the reason in case you are having 1 GB RAM still you can work with Selenium web driver. Whereas few of the tool like uh, UFT, in case you are not having minimum 4 GB RAM, right? If you install your application performance will be very, very slow and you will not able to proceed the other functionality or the other application opening is not possible. Introduction to C has. So C has is also known as C sharp. It's an object oriented programming language derived from C++ and Java. C has allows developer to build application using Visual Studio on .NET platform. C has is used to develop web apps, desktop app, mobile app, games and much more. Why we will be using C has? It is one of the most popular programming language in the world. It is easy to learn and simple to use. It has a huge community support. C has is an object oriented language which gives a clear structure to programs and allow code to be reused lowering development cost. As C has is close to C, C++ and Java, it makes it easy for programmer to switch to C has or vice versa. Why is C has useful for automation testing? So C has is useful for automation testing because it allows the automation test engineer or test architect or test lead to develop an application with the help of Visual Studio on the .NET framework. C has is another programming language that also supports the binding with Selenium. C has ID or integrated data environment is Visual Studio which give faster development and debugging experience as compared to Java's Eclipse. C has has a lot of inbuilt functions which make the development fast comparative to other programming language. That is the reason C has or C sub is very useful for automation testing skip development as well nowadays. Visual Studio is an IDE or integrated data environment developed by Microsoft. Its popularity comes from offering unique features such as cloud connectivity, supported extension, easy debugging, collaboration, deployment and version control integration among other. Visual Studio is available for both Windows and Mac. It can be used for mobile, web, cloud, desktop application and gaming application development. Visual Studio is available in both pre and paid version. The pre version comes with basic feature whereas the paid version comes with enterprise features. Benefits of Visual Studio Easy to install. Visual Studio is very easy to install. It comes with a platform specific installer. Simply follow the on screen instruction during installation. Easy to set up. Visual Studio comes with default templates. To create a new project, a user can choose from many available templates. 
the ID will do the basic configuration to get it ready for usage. Extendable. Visual Studio support thousands of extension. Just hook into the ID and customize them. Intelligence. Visual Studio support modern intelligence for many programming language, which makes coding easier by the developer. Version control. User can integrate version control tool like Git and easily manage them. Live share support. User can share their code in real time, which facilitates collaborations as well. Testing. Visual Studio makes test driven development easier with its built in testing tool. User can write unit and integration test cases or test script quickly. Cloud support. Integrate this ID with cloud providers such as Azure making development and deployment more straightforward and faster. Developer friendly. Visual Studio offer various features for development such as easy refactoring, code cleanup, etc. Setting up Selenium and Visual Studio which primarily is the main objective from the QA community. Selenium is most popular end-to-end -end automation testing tool in existence. It supports the most popular programming language C has Java, Python, JavaScript and many more and we can easily integrate Selenium with Visual Studio with different framework. Pre what are the prerequisites for Visual Studio 2022 installation? User need to make sure that computer is ready for Visual Studio uh, installation right with the following details. They need to check the system requirement with the system is Windows 11 version. 21H2 or higher version, 64 bit ARM operating system, minimum of 4 GB RAM, minimum of 850 MB up to 200 GB of available hard disk space, ARM 64 processor or 1.8 GHz or faster right x64 uh, processor, ARM 32 processor are not, not supported. In case you are uh, using ARM 32 processor, you will not able to install Visual Studio 2022. Then administrator write a required to install or update Visual Studio. So apply the latest Windows update. This update ensures that user computer has both the latest security update and the required system component for Visual Studio. Reboot system which ensures that any pending install or update do not hinder your Visual Studio install. Then free up the space, remove unnecessary files and application from your system drive. By example, running the Dix cleanup app. Then how you can install Visual Studio? What are the steps you need to follow? First you need to navigate to the site HTTPS Visual Studio dot Microsoft dot com. So this is the site you can go here. After that you could see here the lot of options Visual Studio for Windows, Mac, right or Visual Studio code. If you click here Right, you are able to see three version community professional enterprise. So community is the free version you can download without paying any right amount. Whereas professional and enterprise version primarily used by the organization, whereas community version will be used mostly by the individual and no license cost is required for the community version, but you will be having some limited features. Whereas professional or enterprise both are kind of paid version, but you will be getting more advanced feature. So you need to click on the community version 2022 versions if you want to go with the free features. So after that it will be downloaded. It might take a couple of seconds time. Once it is downloaded, it will be available to your download folder. You can go to your download folder and you could able to see the setup option, right? So from the downloaded folder, you need to double click on the Visual Studio setup. Once you double click, it will take a couple of time to extract. You need to click on the yes button here. You need to click on continue. So it will take a couple of seconds time to download all the relevant precondition. Now it is already installed in my system. That version, that is the reason it is giving me the options called modify, launch or more. Right? You can repair, uninstall roll back to PBR version once it is installed otherwise you can go to the available part and if you can click on the install if you want to it is not installed to your system so for my system 
Visual Studio Enterprise and Professional Birth is not installed because those are the bread version. So you could see install button is there. So you simply you need to click on the install button for the Visual Studio Community 2020 version as well. Right? After that, you need to review the workload and summaries and check .NET desktop development and universal Windows platform development checkbox. And you need to click on the install. After that, you need to restart your system. Once it is restarted, so it will be installed your system. Then how can you find whether it is installed there or not? So the search button, or if you go on the Windows here, and you can search with Visual Studio 2022. So it will be open. You could see. So in case you are right installing newly, so these are the project details. Whatever I have already used, this will be stored in my here in the left pen. But in case you are creating from the scratch, right, you are installing from the scratch, so nothing will be displayed. So these are the list of options will be there. You can clone a repository, you can open a project or solution, you can uh, open a uh, local folder, or you can create a new project. In case you are already having some solution, you can open it, right, you can clone a repository, or you can create with new, or you can continue without code as well. So what is any unit? So whenever you will be working with any tool, any programming language, right, you cannot go in the isolated mode because you need some presentable reporting format, right, you need to create 100, 500, 1000 of test cases as well. So you cannot create, right, or you cannot uh, work easily with those uh, isolated approach. So definitely you would require some proper framework to start your journey in the automation, right. In case you already uh, familiar with Selenium with Java, you know there are a lot of framework like JUnit, TestNG, you can use it for error event, keyword, hybrid or BDD framework. So similarly, AnyUnit also is a unit testing framework supported by Visual Studio and Selenium WebDriver. AnyUnit is the most widely used unit testing framework for .NET application. AnyUnit presents the test result in a readable format and allows the tester to debug the automated test very easily. AnyUnit is free to use, so you no need to pay any license cost. AnyUnit does not create any test script by itself. User have to write test script by themselves, but AnyUnit allow user to use its tool and classes to make testing easier. Test can be run in parallel using AnyUnit. It strongly support for data driven test. AnyUnit provides a rich set of assertion, a static method of the assert class. If an assertion fails, the method calls does not return and an error will be reported. So assertion will be give you right, you can check the expected and the actual behavior. In case those are not matching, it will fail the test case and you can get the right error message as well. Then how we can start our journey with the any unit. So in case you are familiar with the Visual Studio, you can create a normal project and then you can right associate any unit to your project. But here we will try to create a any unit test project using Visual Studio 2022. So first, after opening Visual Studio, we will be clicking on the create a new project options. Once you create, it will write, in case you are uh, new to the Visual Studio, it will not giving you uh, more template suggestion from the left plan, but here, left pan, but here you will get all the suggestion. So this is the first option is for all language. Here we will be working with CS, so I will be selecting the language called CS. Then second one, it is from the platform whether you are using Mac, Windows, Linux or iOS. So here we will be using for the Windows, so I will be using Windows. And for the third one, which is nothing but the all the project type, primarily in case you want to uh, st uh, start with Selenium or CS, you can select right the console, but here we will be selecting uh, the all project type as test. Right? After that, once you are filtered with the programming language, right? your platform and your project type. So it will give you all the relevant template available in Visual Studio. So you could see MS test project, any unit test project, right? Unit test project .NET framework, X unit test project, right? Unit test app, spec flow project, all the things will be there, right? Relevant template matching with your filter criteria. So we'll learn MS test project or unit test project later point of time, but here we'll be using any unit test project. You could see here it's supported C has Linux, Mac and Windows desktop and this type is test by by primary for the web based step testing. We will select it and we will click on the next button here. After that we need to give the proper project name so I can write any unit 
sample or any unit training project that is the project name I can give so you can change your repository location solution name also you can change it if required because under a single solution you can create n number of project so I am not changing the solution name also project name solution name will still same and I'll be clicking on the next button after you clicking on the next button write all the dot net framework whatever is already there it will show you so I will go for the long term support which is dot net 6.0 right you can go with 7.0 as well and after that you need to click on the create button so it will create the any unit test project and it will take couple of seconds of time to create the project once the project is created you could able to see it here the namespace is nothing but the project name of the explorer name and this is the test class is already getting created and by default setup and test annotation is also getting created right uh, or attribute and under the setup one method is getting created which is setup method and under the test test one method is getting created where some assertion is also there right now if you want to view the solution explorer you need to click on the view and then you need to click on the solution explorer so it will be displayed on the right pan of the visual studio 2022 window then you could able to see here by default unit test dot cs file is getting created class file and this is the test class is getting created so if you open it here again it will show you display the same thing namespace is in your training project which is the project name here and this is the class test class under which setup and the test method is getting created by default okay so that is the part already mentioned in my uh, PPT as well now so setup and test method is getting created but we can create a tear, tear, tear down attribute as well so what is setup so this attribute is used when user want to execute a piece of code in each test cases it identifies a method to be executed each time before a test method or test is executed whereas tear down is will you let you know that what are the thing you want to execute after so after completely executing each test if user want to execute a piece of code then they have to write this code under tear down attribute whereas test means it will mark a method i an actual test cases in the test class so setup and tear down will be your precondition and the post condition but this will those will do uh, those will not be considered as a test cases but whereas at the rate test annotation or attribute will consider as a test cases now let's go with the setup method and try to right enter something so in in case you are un using any unit framework and in case you want to print out something so console dot write line will not print you exactly so you need to use test context dot progress after that you need to use write line method and where you need to enter your body whatever you want to print in the console so i will be using test context if you press dot it will be giving you the method called progress that part then you need to use the console uh, sorry uh, that write line method you could see that write line method and here you can give the body suppose say um, output for setup method of any unit okay so that way setup is the attribute and this is the method name called setup so you can change the method name in case it's required but this part it cannot be changed so this is the fixed which coming from the any unit right and test attribute will consider as a test cases so here you can change the method name here right so i can you can change any method name i can keep it a test one also so similarly if you want to print something here you can give it here right so output for uh, test one method similarly you can create something for tear down attribute as well so what i will do i will copy it here and i will create one attribute for the tear down so exactly it will be same tear down if you enter something it will be coming here okay and here you need to change the method also so tear down or any relevant name you can give it so I can uh, give it something called uh, tear down output for uh, tear down method of 
n unit so it's, there are couple of error message because i need to enclose every all the right part with the semicolon here now i already created the setup method and tear down method and this is my test cases now what i need to do after creating it right so i can create multiple test attribute as well but i now i will not create anything so what i need to do i need to go to the solution and i need to right click here i need to click on the build solution so that in case of any error message it will be displayed you you could see the build succeed no error right here is the list of option you can see test but nothing it is displayed because you did not have, uh, did not run the test then how you can run your test cases and the before or set up or the tear down which is the before and after the test case will be run right pre condition and the post condition so what you need to do you need to open the test explorer here and you need to click on the test explorer option from the test and you could see here now right this is the explorer name this is the project name this is the class name and this is the method name is coming now if you want to run right you can run from anywhere either from the explorer it can have multiple project project can have multiple test right test can have multiple methods as well so i will run only that method here because it's only having one method so you need to select that one or i can select the explorer and i can run it so automatically all the test cases under the explorer from different project or different class it will be executed now you could see one executed it is not giving you any kind of output here so how can you get the output here so you can close it now if you can click on the view options here there is options called output you need to select it and so build is not there after that you need to select the test here so you could see here how many test cases passed fail what is the output you can get it right so you could see that uh, in unit three test explorer discovered one of one in unit test cases using current discovery mode right and you could see here the output here so first one is the is the setup method because this is the precondition right it will execute for every test cases and then your test case will be executed so this is a precondition executed here and then your test case will be executed then the post condition will be executed right we can go again view output here and test so you could see this is the test cases content this is the precondition from the setup method and this is the post condition right which is the tear down method output for tier down method of unit that is the way you can start your journey with uh, any unit framework now i can create couple of test cases as well right so i will copy it and i will copy it here so you could see the error message because your method name cannot be same in the particular class so i can give it called test2 here i can give it called test3 so similarly i can update it it will be test2 method right and i can update it here also it will be test3 method now again if you save your code you can build rebuild your solution or right or build your solution so it will show you in case of any failure and then you can close it and again you can go to the test you can go to the test explorer now you could able to see here that uh, this is the explorer this is the project this is your class and under this class there are so many methods so test one already run test two and test three did not run so you can run all right from the class level or from the project level from the explorer level so i will be running it from the class level right click and run otherwise there is a button for running all right if you click here so it will run try to execute all the method now you could see all are getting passed here there is not a single failure and that is the reason in case all child are plus parent will be passed right grandparent will be passed accordingly you can close here and if you go here to the view and then output again and if you go to the test here right it will store you all your history so initially it was one test executed and this is the time and now you could see here right three test found and three test executed right three test executed and this is the output right so setup method and then test what method got run then tear time method then again setup method got called because it's a precondition for every test test two method got executed and then tear down method for test true then the again setup method then test three method and then tear down method so that is the way three test cases passed and zero fail and zero skip now let's fail any one test cases like face test one so i will be calling that assert 
class which is available in the any unit dot if you press dot <coughs> r equal this is the method I can call here so I can give suppose say 2 comma 5 and I can close with semicolon so what will happen it will not pass because 2 and 5 are not equal right so one test case will be fail here now what I will do I will again go to the test explorer and will instead of test explorer right I will cl click on the test and I can run it from here also run all tests so it will try to run all the test cases but now one test case will be failed here test one because it is not matching the assertion right and you could see because of the test case one test case fail your parent class and project and the solution explorer got failed now if you select the test cases you could see the error message right expected two and but was coming as five right which line number is coming test class and method name test one and line number is 17 so that is the 17 line number it is failing in case of any failure if you want to debug your script you can go also and debugging also and you can find out easily which line number it is failing so you can click on the test you can go to the test explorer because that is my test case fail select that method right click here and click on the debug so it will only debug you the fail test case and it will show you the relevant error right it will try to execute it and on that particular step it will display the error so that way you can get to know right what is the problem of the test cases and you can fix your code you could see in that particular step the cross mark sign is coming and it is also giving you the result right any unit dot framework assertion exception expected to but it was five so you can write correct it and then you can close it here so the debugging will stop and now I can uh, I, I can either pass it or either write um, or remove the assertion so it will be passed now now if you again execute all the test or repeat repeat the last run means you want to execute the fail test case only you can do it so that not be a problem so now it will be passed here and if you close it and if you go here again view and then output here and if you select here the test so it will give you the latest result here right so now three test case passed executed and previous one you could see here right in the previous history it was zero test passed and one failed right so that is the way it will give you the actual result whatever test case passed or fail or about it okay yeah you could see last time right we have executed three test cases two passed one failed okay so that is the way you can deal with um, the multiple test cases in a minute framework now we'll see how we can integrate with selenium web driver right and how we can add relevant selenium web driver related code and how we can execute multiple test case at a time so we can integrate any unit test with selenium web driver as well okay so what are the steps we need to do we need to first go to the solution explorer or the project explorer in case i want to associate it right you could if you double click here you could able to see what are the different packages already included to the project so you could see here any unit analyzer any unit three test adapter any unit microsoft.net dot test dot adk right coverlet collector these are the thing already added to my project explorer now if you want to add selenium related part to start your right add your integration with selenium as well so you need to right click here and you need to click on manage and you get packages that options after that you need to go in the browse tab so that are the step already mentioned here and you need to search with selenium here and you need to hit enter button or click on the search button so first you need to ins install selenium dot web driver and you could see the latest version so whatever version you can get right you can install it so I'll be going with the latest version here 4.8.2 stable version so I can click on the install so after that it will let you know what other thing you want to install or uninstall then you need to click on the ok so all the thing will be installed you could say there is no error message so your right uh, entire solution there is no error message means everything got installed and now you could see here uh, the option is coming as uninstall or update if you want to update it any other lower version or higher version you can simply just update it no inst install it again then I need to install and you could see that's a trick mark means that particular thing is already installed to your project or to your solution 
then I need to install selenium.support here right you need to select that selenium.support and you need to click on the install so same version should be there otherwise it might create problem and you need to that preview changes will be uh, changes pages will be open you need to click on ok so it will take couple of seconds time and here no error message in the entire solution so also it get installed successfully uninstall button is coming here and the green tick mark that means it's already installed now you need to install the chrome driver so before that installation you need to find out the correct version of your chrome driver whatever you are using right you could see what is the version for me it is triple one right so i need to install the chrome driver for the relevant version triple one so you could see here so that is the thing you need to check after that you can check with the version in case it is a lower version or higher version you can go with that one similar way right so you can select that one based on your version and you can click on the install and you can click on ok here so these are the three condition three thing you need to install first selenium dot web driver selenium dot support and then selenium dot web driver dot chrome driver these are the three things required to uh, start your automation uh, skip development right using chrome driver if you want to open it now you can close this thing and now if you go to the any unit project you can close it simply go to the project and double click so that right that project explorer will open here and you could see now selenium web driver dot chrome driver version selenium web driver selenium support is installed selenium support is 4.8.2 selenium web driver is 4.8.2 and selenium web driver dot chrome driver is triple 1.0.5563.6400 so now it's already there in my project so that is the way you can understand okay now what i need to do i want to automate couple of uh, like url right so it may be facebook it may be apple it may be google okay in the three test case test case one test case two and test case three i want to automate three steps okay so what you need to do you already know right i want first you need to create a driver object for the i web driver interface and relevant to chrome driver class using selenium so my driver will be common across all the tests right so what i'll be doing whatever common thing is there i will be right writing in the setup method so that every time i want to open the page i want to maximize the page and then i want to load a page based on my test cases i want to add some assertion and now uh, after everything is done i want to close the my browser so i that part i will be adding in my tear down method okay so let's first create global variable for the web driver i web driver interface so i web driver driver so that is the object i am creating okay now you could see some error messages coming so what i need to do i need to right import 